Hey guys! Salut mes amis! Ok, hallo gebar! Maxime here. This video was also in high request, so as promised, I'll focus on some tips for Danger Zone based on my own experience. Also, I have a giveaway announcement, more on that at the end of the video. Cool, right? Wanna know where I got it? Well look, go to cs.money. It's a trade platform and a marketplace at the same time. Just choose, click, and get. Good luck, bro. Alright. Fair warning, I do prefer regular competitive mode, that's still why I'm going back to the game. But I'm still not afraid to show you guys how many Danger Zone matches I've played. Here you can see my stats up until this video. I've won 32 times out of 91. I think those stats are pretty good to be honest. It basically means I'm first place one out of three matches. Please consider the fact that I've had to carry my teammates. Whoa! Guys, I don't know who said that. You can check your own stats by following the instructions in the video description. Just don't make it too competitive in the comment section or it might get ugly. But Maximo! The tips! Right. These five tips may sound simple and obvious, but it's pretty much how I got my results. Let's go. Tip number one. When a match is live, quickly loot your first gun, then use your tablet as much as possible. I noticed many of my friends, even some enemies, have this tunnel vision. They rely more on the gameplay without checking the tablet. And then things like this happen. I mean, that's fine, I guess, but if this game mode offers wool hack, use it. It becomes more and more useful later on, so try to make it a habit to always press tab. Oh, and if you're completely new to Danger Zone and you're watching this video, the yellow areas mean that there's at least one player in them. Tip number two. So now you've looted the place and you're not sure if an enemy is in your area. Solution, quickly move to a nearby area. And if you have teammates close by, tell them to move as well, but do it together. With some quick maths, you can now determine if there are players nearby. I do this at least once every match, just to be 100% sure no one's trying to sneak up on me. You can also fool enemies by jiggling between areas, and then time it properly to get a sweet stealth kill. Tip number three. Now some people will tell you that you should spawn on the edges of the map, so you don't need to focus on covering your back. While I do like this tip, I prefer making it a general rule that if you're moving around, make sure you're hugging a wall. At least, most of the time. Even if you spawn from the edges, the chances are quite high that sooner or later you'll be forced to move. If you need to move around, hugging a wall is a good thumb rule for survival. Oh, and it doesn't need to be a wall, can be a building, a rock, you get the point. Tip number four. Now this one is all about saving time. To make sure you get a good start, you can swing the rope and time it properly to get to where you want. If you know where you want to go, swing the opposite direction. You'll get enough speed and distance. When you've reached a specific height, you can also release yourself early by holding E. Just doing these things in the beginning of the game will save you a few seconds. While I'm talking about saving time, you can also chop money bags to get the cash out faster. With ammo boxes, you can look around while filling up your ammo and oh, look, if you have a molly or a grenade or even breach charges, you can open the big red crates to quickly get a better gun because let's be real, how many kills do you get with a molly? And remember, there's usually two or more ways to get to where you want because there's barely any clip brushes or invisible walls, which is great for parkour. Tip number five. If the danger zone isn't in your area and you are in the safe area, you can always just chill. What I really mean to say is avoid contact as much as possible, stay away from the rest, and let other people fight each other. I mean, it might not sound like fun, but it definitely brings you closer to a win. Also, I've noticed how some players treat hostages as their main mission, but honestly, it ain't worth it, yo. Only if you have a clear passage to a hostage zone and you can avoid enemy contact, then yes. Same for this one. I want to finish off by saying it's really not worth buying this unless they decide to lower the price. It won't really benefit you enough to make it worth your money. You can always buy the first upgrade or steal it from someone else just to see where drones are. That's usually enough. And if you ever need to spend money on something, do it on ammo and medi shots. Just remember, you can only have two medi shots at a time. Hope you like my tips. Now for the giveaway. I got some Razor gear. I even got an extra Death Adder Elite because mine was getting a bit battle scarred. So thanks a lot for that. Anyway, the rest is for you. See it as a Christmas special giveaway. So if you want to be part of it and have a chance to win one of these cool Razor products, check the link in the video description. If you want, you can support my channel by liking the video, put a bell on the sub, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay awesome and go bananas.